Welcome to our ExaQuantum training video. The ARA user interface consists of a top level menu and a viewing area to see the report. The applications menu can be accessed by clicking on the ExaQuantum ARA link in the site header. It contains links to other applications in the ExaQuantum family of products. There is also a link to the dashboard and to the support page. The support page provides access to all of the ARA user and engineering manuals. The main menu shows links to the ARA reports currently available. Reports are categorized into four areas, management, performance, operations, and maintenance. The rightmost link on the side header shows the currently logged in user. When clicked on, a submenu is displayed, showing a list of languages that ARA can be displayed in. ARA currently supports English and Japanese languages. Other languages can also be supported. The ARA homepage is also referred to as the dashboard. You can always return to the dashboard from the applications menu. The ARA dashboard has been designed to show some key alarm information over the last 28 days. At the top of the dashboard are the alarm priority gauges. The alarm priority solid gauges display the average hourly alarm count of each alarm priority, which are either critical, high, medium, or low priority. These counts are averaged over the 28 days covered by the dashboard. The color is controlled by a threshold configurable for each priority. These can be used to see whether the average is above or below expected values. The KPI heat map chart displays the values of a number of KPIs per day for the 28 days as shown at the top of the dashboard. Clicking on an indicator for a KPI will cause a drill down to a report on any particular date. To the right, we have the alarm state half donut chart displaying the percentage of alarm states. The chart displays the percentage of alarms raised, which is shown in red, acknowledged, shown in orange, and returned to normal, shown in green, over the dashboard date time period. The alarm priority area spline chart displays the average alarm priorities per hour by day stacked over time. Each stacked series displays the average alarm priority per hour over the dashboard date time period. Hovering the mouse pointer over the graph will display a pop-up box for the specific day with the date and list of alarm counts by priorities. At the bottom of the dashboard are the alarm summary lists for long-standing, chattering and bad actors. The long-standing and bad actors list displays the top five in descending order. The chattering alarms show the average over the dashboard date time period. Each report has a similar reporting environment. All reports contain a print button located on the top right of the page. Clicking this button generates a PDF print preview. This can then be adjusted before being printed or saved. All reports have the ability to export data in a number of formats. Exported data can be saved locally for subsequent use. Clicking on the clog menu displays the export options. All reports have the ability to filter data. Each report type has a different set of filter criteria. These are described for each report in their relevant section. Selecting filters and clicking the apply button will filter the content of the report. Some filters allow a single selection of a drop-down menu. Entering characters in the search box limits the drop-down lists of matching items. Multi-select filters allow a number of items. Clicking on the blank space in the filter will bring up a list of available values for selection. Each type of report has a period and sub-period parameters to select the time range on the reports. When selecting the period filter, the sub-period filter will automatically update to provide the relevant time period. For reports such as the raw alarm and event report, date time filters are available. 
they are set by a combination of two controls, one for the date and one for the time. All reports implement a standard paging mechanism. This allows a portion of the total data set to be displayed at any time. Reports are configured with a drill down option on some fields, for instance, the date time field. Drilling to the lowest level will always display the raw events data. Where a report includes the option to show suppressed data, the suppression type field is available. A drop down selector is used in the filter to select the type required. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe. For more information, contact us or visit our website.